Hello everyone. Thank you so much for the loads and loads of messages that you have been sending me. That's why I thought, oh, let's do part two. It seems that this company permit visas has really caught uh, the attention of uh, my audience. I'm so glad that you found the first uh, video useful. Your messages made me feel so glad. And I felt that, oh, it seems that these videos are really helpful for some people. So let's get started. And now we are going to be talking about these 10 steps that you will need to be following if you want to be applying for the e-service for your startup company. So the requirements for using the e-service are 10 steps. Here we go. Step number one, you need copies of the pages in your passport that, for example, prove your uh, personal uh, number, your photo, your signature, uh, your passport number or, or, or issuing a uh, country. This is crucial. This is the most important thing. Step number two. If you are applying from other country other than your home country, the validity period if you have permission to live in other country other than your own home country. And please try to submit as much copies of this v uh, 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 visas or this uh, renewal visas that you have in the country where you are applying from, which is not your home country. Number three, and now we will talk about the money, the bank certificates showing that you have sufficient funds remember the last time when we were talking that you have uh, if you are coming yourself you need to be having equivalent to 200,000 Swedish krona which is 20,000 euros and another um, 10,000 euro for your partner and another 5,000 euro for each of your children this is very important that you have to be proving that you have this amount of money step number four showing your bank certificates Bank certificates showing that you have enough money and to buy the company and the cost and the investment you have reckoned in order to be running your business. Be careful. If you have just deposited the money in your bank account and there is no proof from where you got this money or the source of uh, money, it will not be counted or it will not be justified as your own fund migration office most probably will just ignore it you can say that most of the time from their own experience they want to be seeing that this person has this amount of money for some time in their bank account because maybe he just borrowed it from a friend or so so that's why they want to make sure that this money has been sitting in his bank account for some time Step number five, purchase contract. What is purchase contract? If you have purchased or are intending to buy a company, for example, or uh, you are intending to buy a company or a business or a trading company, or they want to see the, the agreement or the share register, they need to be seeing and they want to approve of a document that is showing that you have paid the purchase price or your share of the purchase price if you have purchased the company or uh, you have purchased this business or this trading company of course you need that to be translating all these documents either in english or swedish from an official from an official and recognizable recognizable um, office Plus, you will always need, in addition to the translated uh, documents, the original document with, the, uh, with your own mother tongue. Number six, contracts with customers or suppliers and uh, agreements. This is very important. Step number seven, the two most recent annual accounts or financial statements. If the company has been already operating with your own company, they need to be seeing this. And of course, always better if you are sending everything from one account. From one account, try to avoid the multiple accounts. They would feel a little bit mm, something is not right here. They always prefer to have everything as much as possible coming or being generated from one bank account. 
Step number eight, balance sheet and profits. And sorry, balance sheet and profit and loss statement for uh, the current financial year up to the previous month. Or you can say in other words, the last month before you submit your visa request, they want to see this profit and loss uh, document or this uh, profit and loss uh, sheets. Step number nine, they need to see any proof or certificate to prove your uh, English or Swedish language level. And also it has to be from a recognizable entity. Step number 10, if you got any proof of any uh, course, training, education you had, either in your home country or any other country, if you have attended any seminars, if you have attended uh, any even e-learning courses, try to prove it, try to get all the certificates that you have, that prove that you have went through these courses and you have this education, this will help you. For example, if you are an accountant and you want to be working as a marketer, in marketing and you are uh, bought uh, some shares or register you registered yourself here in sweden with a new uh, company that you are going to be uh, working with or starting with a, a partner here well they want to know okay how he wants to be buying some shares or having a partnership in a marketing company when he's an accountant but maybe you had some education maybe you had some training or, or maybe that you have been trying to be having some online courses. This is all very good um, proof that you have the uh, background or you have the education or maybe you have the training. Maybe sometimes you didn't have the education, but you have the skills. You uh, have been trained in doing certain job. That's why you have a very good experience. Always put in mind, skills and training is one thing, education is another thing. Nowadays in our world, you don't have always to be studying something, but it's very important if you have the skills and the training or the work experience in this field. So try to collect as much as documents, correct legal documents that can be proving your uh, either education, skills, training in this field. All this will be a big plus for you.